Uh, you remember my ottomans. So what I want to do now is I want to finish the ottomans. The ottomans have been built using three quarter inch plywood. I'm going to use this. This is 220 grit sandpaper. I'm going to put the 220. I'm going to sand it with 220 grit and then I'm going to put the uh, stain on which should make them done. Here we go. <laughs> Here's what it looks like when it's been sanded. Here's what it looks like before it gets sanded. Now I'm just using a little bit of water and a rag. Very, very, just lightly moist rag to wipe the sawdust off. I'm going to use the same finish that we used on the uh, roof of the bus um, for this project. Stain the ottomans. Good news, I reread the directions. It turns out that four to seven hours is the dust free cure. I can continue to work on the bus, which means I'll be able to um, cut the pieces down here, which I need for up there to make the sofa seat. And then also I'll cut the tops of these things now. However, before I go do that, I want to stain the bottom of these as well and put the little nubs on there. The little nubs are like, these are the little nubs. They're just little pieces of like carpet that you can put on the bottom that'll make it so they slide around easily. So I just spent about 30 minutes uh, cleaning up this uh, hole for where the uh, dove top's gonna go. As careful as I was with taping and the epoxy job, I still had a whole lot to carve out. As you can see, I've carved all of this out. But now, I think that the stove's, stove top's gonna fit in perfectly. I'm just going to run a little bit of clear silicon along these edges so that it's watertight. And this, uh, this is pretty good. I'm pretty stoked on this. I'm a little worried about the heat baffle here. Somebody mentioned in the comments, but I'm going to wait until, well, there's just so many things to do. You got to just keep going. One thing at a time.
talk about the real devil and the details when doing these projects. You see, it's always fancy and romantic to see a thing, the faucet going in, but it's so easy that it's almost irrelevant. Right now, what I'm dealing with is this problem. If I pull on the on the faucet, it's basically supposed to pick up this black piece right here, right? I'm pulling on the faucet, it picks up. The thing is, right now, when I let go of the faucet, that weight's supposed to pull it down. The problem is, it's landing on that piece of wood behind it. And so, what I'm basically going to have to do is cut this, anchor it to the back of the, seat of the wall, and then have it go down so that this piece of wood doesn't catch the wire. Now this is a problem that it's going to take me probably 45 minutes to an hour to solve. And all it really does is make it so that instead of this guy being stuck right here, it pops up to there. It's like one of these little things that just just takes more time than anything else. And it's just, this is why these things take a long time. It's not because of the easy stuff like putting the faucet in. It's like fixing the reason that it doesn't work. What I've done is I've put a piece of one by here. I did two inch self-tapping hex screws through there. And then I just put a two inch exterior grade screw through there. And now when I pull the weight, it floats down all by itself. I also use zip ties to tie it up top and to get the water lines out of the way right there. Ooh. It works. I think this is kind of a cheap thing because it only goes to there, even after I put the weight all the way up. But I guess we're just gonna have to live with that. make this exactly 73 and 7 eighths. So the way I get it really sharp is I look down the blade and I can get it perfect. Now that this thing is complete, we've basically got a front storage area with a lid on it on the hinges. So yeah, you can store things and then once the three ottomans come together, it makes a full size bed. I'm gonna go make the lids for the ottomans now. In order for them to be ottomans and work to put your feet on or to be desks, I need to make a lid for them. So I'm going to rip this three quarter inch plywood to the size, to the width that it needs to be. And then I'll use the radial saw that radio saw right there to uh, cut them to the proper size. This is all very fun. I love this construction part or the uh, carpentry. Carpentry is just my favorite part. It's so much better than any of the bus mechanics. Stuff. I'm gonna cut this thing three times at 24 and 3 eighths. And then that'll, it should be perfect lids for all these guys.
I was really nervous right when I put the first one on there. I thought maybe I cut it wrong. But uh, I cut the last one on the table and that was the one I wanted to keep. But this is all good. Everything's coming together great. I'm going to sand. I want to put little buffers on the bottom of these things so that they sit in there. Um, right now, the, the tops would float around like this. So I want to put, just cut little strips and put them on the inside so that they stay in one place. <laughs> It's perfectly. Now I just want to sand the top. I think they turned out great, right? I'm very happy with the way that this all turned out. It's uh, it's working out just exactly like I wanted it to. It's working for the bed and then it's also going to be ottomans. You can stack these three on top of each other to make a standing desk. You can use these as, as chairs to eat at the table and um, everything's coming together. It's just, as always, it's taking much longer than I expected but it's turning out well. Thank you for watching. <clears throat>